Hello, this is Professor Jim H. in Cal State Long Beach. In this example, I will illustrate a business application using marginal analysis in two variables. First of all, we notice that the function p depends on two variables x and y, which represents the amounts, the dollar amounts, or actually in terms of the cents amount of the two brands. We notice that we want to use the marginal analysis to estimate the change instead of the actual exact change of the daily profit. If we raise the price of the second brand, but keeps the price of the first brand unchanged. What this means is that we're interested in finding the change of P with respect to the variable Y only. And that what that's what raise the price of the second brand means and keeping the price of the first brand unchanged. We also notice that the first brand is currently selling selling for fifty cents, and the second brand is currently selling for fifty two cents per can. This corresponds to x being fifty and y being fifty two at this point in time. Piecing these two piece, putting these two pieces of information together, we are looking for the p sub y evaluated at fifty and fifty two. So now we go back to the original function p. First, what we need to do is to take the partial derivative with respect to y here. Notice that if you're taking the partial with respect to y, the variable x is treated as a constant. So what's highlighted or underlined in blue are constants. When we take the derivative of those things, they go to zero. So the only thing that matters are the this negative 7y squared, the 240y, and also the 10xy. You differentiate those term by term, you get negative 14y plus 240 plus 10x. Now if you plug in the x equals 50 and y equals 52 in the above equation, we get 1468. And what that means is that the daily profit will increase by 1468 cents. It's increasing because it's a positive outcome. This concludes the question.